Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga received an update a few days ago and we're expecting a huge reveal coming soon for the game. I'm actually pretty surprised the game is getting an update, but still, I'm not complaining. Hello there everybody and welcome back to another Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update. I'll show you some of the things the game has patched in the last update and tell you about what and when we could expect the next update for this game. If you're new here, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to help us reach 7,000 subscribers if you enjoy the video. And now let's get right into it. The other day, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga got a new patch that fixed a lot of common complaints about the game. For example, they fixed Rey Skywalker and training Luke's lightsabers. Rey Skywalker's lightsaber blade was much shorter for some reason, and Luke's lightsaber was the wrong color, oddly enough. They finally fixed it, and I hope they fix more common issues like this. They also finally fixed one of the most annoying bugs in the game, and it got rid of the yellow dots above every character in the selection screen when you load up the game. When you unlock a character in the game, it has a yellow dot above the icon showing that you've never played that character before in your playthrough. And every time you boot up the game, there's a yellow dot above every single character in the game that you have unlocked. And it's really, really annoying. And this was especially pretty annoying for me because I unlocked all of the characters pretty early and I would have to go through over every single character icon to get rid of all of the yellow dots. Finally, that's fixed, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Finally, one of the big fixes that we found is that Darth Vader is now constantly breathing when you play as him. When the game launched, Darth Vader was completely silent when you played as him, but now he has thankfully been fixed and you can always hear his iconic breathing even when he's just walking. In addition, the Jedi and Dark Side UI in the selection screen have been rearranged, and I personally think it's because they're going to add new characters in these classes, since it was perfectly fine before, and now it seems to have a blank slot. But I'll get into more about added characters later in the video, since right now I'm focusing on the patch. Finally, they added some new game options like toggling combo meter, damage numbers, and boss health bars on and off. I'm so glad to see that they're still actively updating this game. I do just wish they released some patch notes so we could know for sure what was changed without the community having to boot up the game and explore ourselves. Now, moving on, it was revealed that LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has something big to share coming up. On September 9th, a Marvel and Disney game showcase was announced, and we will have new things to show for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, as well as Disney Dreamlight Valley, Marvel's Midnight Suns, and a new look at a new Marvel game coming from Skydance New Media. I don't think they would have the game show up at another event if they didn't have something huge planned. Now, I talked about earlier that they reorganized the Jedi and Dark Side class selection screens, and I think that they could be adding DLC to those classes. Not only that, but there have been other classes that you can easily add onto without rearranging anything like the hero class, and it might be only for one DLC, but I think the three most likely DLC options are Clone Wars, Rebels, or Kenobi. Probably not all three, but that's my best guess. For the Kenobi DLC, we could see a new Kenobi appearance that could take the blank spot in the Jedi class, and Reva could take the blank spot in the Dark Side class, or for the Clone Wars, we could get a new Ahsoka skin, and Ventress could fill in the Dark Side spot. In Rebels, we could see Kanan in the Grand Inquisitor, but that's all just speculation, and I know we'll get at least three more characters in each DLC pack if we get DLC, so it's a lot of missing spots, but I've done breakdown videos and speculation videos of these DLC classes already, so if you're interested, go watch those videos. I also just wanted to add on that we might get another capital ship, and I personally am really hoping we see the normal Star Destroyer, but that's just me, and maybe, just maybe, Kajimi will be updated and let you actually explore the planet's surface, but keep in mind that these are just things I would like to see and is not confirmed in any way. Now, a lot of people have been talking about potentially seeing the character customizer finally make its way into the game. I'm personally not holding out any hope. The game was delayed for so long because of trying to implement and remove the character customizer, and it just doesn't seem too likely that they would manage to put it back in the game so quickly after all this effort of taking it out. To be fair, I don't know how game development works too well, but I'm just not going to be holding out hope to see this. I do see why so many people think it could be revealed. To have Skywalker Saga show up at a new gaming event after the game has been out for four or five months could mean that they do have a big announcement to make, like a character customizer, and I'm very excited to see what it actually is. I think this update will focus on keeping the game relevant with more new content from recent Star Wars projects and adding things that people have been begging for, like Clone Wars content, the Star Destroyer, Kenobi content, stuff like that. All will be revealed on September 9th. What do you think will be announced at this event? Please let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, the KOTOR remake, and Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and so much more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.